Misreactions, reactions, as Islamic clergy says, death by kidnapping is a sure way to paradise. Nothing will not go here for this country. Or nothing, absolutely nothing. So who tell you say everybody now they go your paradise? Do you get what I mean? So they should not. Uh, people should not bother. They should take it as a pinch of salt that uh, you were killed by by uh, kidnappers. So it's a sure way to paradise. I don't. There's nothing we know here in this country. Nothing whatsoever. You know, this is somebody who people are listening to, who is talking to people. So what kind of mindset do you want those people to have? That it's okay to be kidnapped. Don't no need to make an alarm. No need to spread it out that something is going on. You know, just let it be. Accept it as the will of God. And who told you that God wants you, your life to be so miserable that you should be tortured and killed in such a way? Who said so? I don't understand where this perspective and this mindset are coming from. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you so much. Misreaction, as Islamic clergy says, death by kidnapping is such a way to paradise. A cross-section of Nigerians have poured out their minds over the recent revelation made by well-known Islamic clergy on ransom payments and kidnapping. The deputy imam of the Abuja Central Mosque and the popular Islamic clergy, Professor Ibrahim, the professor by uh, doing Islamic things, okay, Mozik has told worshippers during a prayer session to mark the Ramadan in Abuja that it was on Islamic to pay ransom to kidnappers. He warned the worshippers against paying ransom as it was against the tenets of Islam. The clergy added that Allah has forbidden paying money to an enemy during a war as it will empower the enemy to continue fighting. So why did you tell the president and all of them that are in power? He added that instead of paying ransom, the kidnappers must know that the victim is ready to sacrifice his or her life instead. So just be ready to sacrifice your life, okay? So they, they must know that the victims are ready to sacrifice their lives, right? So let's continue. The clergy added that by doing so, the paradise was sure. He also warned that by continuously paying money to bandits and kidnappers, they will be more dearer in their request to kidnap more. Hence, he would pay the hence he would pay them no money. He supported, and you are saying you support their crime by paying any kind of money to them. So no money should be paid. I do I do really honestly accept this. Uh, I, I, I accept some of the things he's saying, but not all. Let's continue. While responding, a cross-section of Nigerians have berated the clergy for giving that type of sermon. Someone said, nothing we're not going to see for this Nigeria. God forbid this kind of country. Which kind of country be this? And make everything scatter now. Somebody has said, imagine the way some animals in human skin are thinking. Look at the way, look at the kind of mindset. This is the thought pattern of those in the north. That's why they are in perpetual bondage. Somebody else said, different problem with different techniques. Can you hear the one, this one again? We are getting to know the source of the kind of mindset already impl implemented in the hearts of people in the north. Somebody has said, that's why they are in bondage. Kadu Kaduna state governor does not want to pay ransom. He wants all the students to be in paradise. They told him that they want them in paradise. <laughs> that's quite funny. You know, I didn't mean to be sarcastic about my laugh, but it's just the way he said it was really kind of funny. Recall that some students of the Greenfield University in Kaduna State were kidnapped just about a month when students of the School of Forest were kidnapped in the same state. Just today, yes, yesterday, the kidnappers who took the Greenfield students has revealed that they had been forced to kill. Just today, the kidnappers who took the Greenfield student has revealed that they had been forced to kill five students over the insensitivity of the Kaduna governor, Erofi, to stop all forms of negotiation with them. The bandits have threatened to kill the remaining student by Tuesday if the ransom of 100 million is not paid by then. Recall, Erofi has vowed not to pay any ransom to secure the release of any kidnapped person, adding that even if it is his son who was kidnapped, he would not pay any ransom. So this is where we are at the moment. So the clergy is saying to the people, and just take it as a quick way for you to get to heaven, okay, or paradise, as he said. 
Okay, let me not use my words. Let me use his exact words. He said it's a quick way for you to get to heaven. There is no need eh, for you to be paying. Of course, I agree with that. There is no need to pay. This payment thing that they keep doing to them is what is really giving them the F on tree to continue. You know, it's what is making them feel that they can, you know, uh, kidnap people. They get the money. So why not continue with the lucrative business? You see, in the North, they pay them heavily. Not just in the North. The government of Nigeria has been paying them handsomely. You know, the, they can carry school students. You know how much they, they, they bargain for each student. That's just one of the many you know, things that, um, you know, they've been doing and, uh, I mean, they've been doing. And he's saying that nobody should pay them ransom, which is good because Americans have a slogan saying we don't negotiate with terrorists. That's what Americans say. And um, it's not just a word. They actually keep to the terms and conditions of their word. They don't. They don't. You see, uh, and they do every. They, it's not just words, so they put action to it. They ensure that things are done decently and in order. They put things and they ensure that the people are safe to a large extent. Humanly speaking, they do all they humanly can to ensure that you know the safety and the safe release of their people, in respective of the situation. You see, but Nigerian government, nobody. I mean, those in leadership right now, I don't think they have the capacity. To lead and to let you know that Buhari is not even the one in charge of the country. Buhari is not the one. There are people who are who, who, who don't mind people being killed. They will tell you it's part of it. They will tell you some people will die anyway. So until it gets to their children, okay, all their children gone in one day, and then they will begin to understand that Nigerians are going through a lot and there's a lot of hell. Probably then they'll begin to take things seriously. But guess what? They are surrounded by a battalion of soldiers and the rest. And Nigerian soldiers, I'm just so so shocked to see that you are seeing something is wrong. You cannot use your mind, hmm? this mind that God has given to you, to have what we call discretion. To be able to, to decide, to say this is wrong. How can somebody give you a command that you know, your heart tells you is wrong. You know it's wrong. Morally and, I mean, humanly wrong. You know. But you say they gave me a, an order. Excuse me, are you a robot? Don't you know what is right from wrong? Are you a robot? Don't you know when something is wrong? If they've given you an order to kill your child, will you do it? That because you are in the army, will there not be hesitation from your side? It shows the kind of heart you guys have as well. It shows the kind of people that you are. So leave us a comment we'd like to hear from you. Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Bye for now.